Let's listen to the Secretary of State. We would never, never walk away from our allies. We are deploying a system that enhances the security of our NATO allies. Two of our allies, Poland and the Czech Republic, were very willing to host parts of the previous planned system, and we deeply appreciate that. Joining me now is U.S. Congressman Joe Sestak of Pennsylvania and Congressman Mike Turner of Ohio. Both are members of the House Armed Services Committee. Congressman Sestak, make the case for why we should change the deployment from those uh, fixed positions in the Czech Republic and Poland to the more mobile approach, uh, facing, uh, in fact, focusing on the, uh, the medium-range missiles rather than the ICBMs. The national intelligence estimate that came out in June said that the long-range missile threat is sometime distant in, in the future. But right now, there's a short and medium range threat from Iran from their missiles that they are increasing in production. So what we have is our troops in the Middle East, Israel, and southeastern Europe, including <coughs> Turkey, even when the Bush administration's plan by 2017 to put the GBIs, ground-based interceptors, in the Czech Republic and Poland won't even cover any of that threat. So by having an upgrade on our already sea-based infrastructure, Aegis ships, we will have immediately an ability to protect our troops, Israel and southeastern Europe. As that capability of Iran potentially develops, there's a four-phased upgrade on the Aegis ships that gives as good a capability as the ground-based interceptors would do in Europe, around Israel, the Middle East, and almost as good back to the United States. What a smart move at less cost, more immediate capability, and then you can pivot and say to Russia, how about helping us diplomatically and with economic sanctions on Iran that we force it not to produce a nuclear okay. weapon? What a great, great plan. We all want an America defined by deep and meaningful equality, from civil rights to labor rights, from women's rights to gay rights, from ending... From ending discrimination, there are no acceptable limits and there are no acceptable prejudices in the 21st century in our country. We have a common task and a common challenge. Why can't we see that we are all in this together? 18 million of you from all walks of life. Women and men, young and old, Latino and Asian, African American and Caucasian, rich, poor and middle class, gay and straight, you have stood with me. And I will continue to stand strong with you every time, every place and every way that I can. The dreams we share are worth fighting for.